Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, let's talk about why university is the biggest time waster in the modern day age. So if your parents are gonna pay for your university tuition fee, then I'm all for college, right? Especially if you're gonna get a specialized skill set, right? I'm all for it. But one thing I will say is that people who are gonna go into student loan debt, right? Um, and, you know, get a like degree that, you know, they might get their master's in something that is like social work or, you know, art or philosophy or English, right? And that's great. That's awesome, right? I'm sure that they will enjoy their studies. But here's the thing, right? Usually reality doesn't hit most people until they graduate, right? Like they're in a daze in college for four years. They're partying, right? They're just hanging out. They're going to this club or maybe they're in sports, right? Or they're just there because that's what their parents want them to do, right? So those are usually some reasons, the biggest reasons why most people go to university. But here's what I'll say. Here's my reasoning on why it's a big waste of time. Let's say, okay, you go for four years, right? Or you go for eight years, right? So you go in at 19 and you graduate at 27, let's say with your master's, right? Well, hey, guess what? Or let's say, let's say the bare minimum, right? Let's say you graduate at 23, right? Let's say you go for four years, you get your bachelor's in, I don't know, philosophy, history, some something like that, right? And you want to move out, right? Or you have student, and you're, let's say you're like $80,000 in debt, right? It's going to take you to pay all that off it's gonna take you like three to four years to pay all of that off, right? So if you live at home with your parents, like I mentioned this in another video, this exact like sequence, this exact like situation. If you live with your parents, right? And you're cost free, right? And you're living rent free, that's gonna help you more, right? You'll be able to pay it off quicker, right? So if it's $80,000, let's say you start out, you know, most people that graduate college, they just get a basic they like work at like starbucks or like mcdonald's or like walmart or something like that like a retail minimum wage job right so if they're making like you know typically entry level people like just cashiers or whatever or whatever they only make like thirty thousand dollars a year right now it depends where you live right but if you make only thirty thousand dollars a year and you got eighty thousand dollars in student loan debts right that's gonna take you to at least a little over two years right or three years to pay it off right and let's say you live on your own you decide to move out well now it's gonna take you six years to pay it off right so you graduate at 23 right or 24 and now because you have so much money to pay off you don't get to really start your life until 29 you spend the first few years after you graduate paying off your student loan debt Bro, there's people right now that are making millions of dollars at 28, 29, 30. And college, I think university, right? In some situations, right? Maybe 50% of the cases of people who go is generally setting people up to, to, to push back their success, to set them back, right? And to cause them to feel stressed. Bro, imagine, you know, I'm glad I, I left university like a year in. But imagine graduating after four years, right? And your money for the next six years or five years is going just to pay off your student loans. That would be the most depressing thing, right? Because you can't get ahead unless you're working like two jobs. But think about it, most, most people aren't working two jobs after university, they're just working like 40 hours, right? So, I mean, obviously if you work two jobs, you'd be able to pay it off, but still, it's still the, the principle of you being in debt to get a degree that isn't gonna pay you out anything worth like your 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 stay, right? Like the fruit isn't, the, ju the juice isn't worth the squeeze when it comes to university is, is actually like, that's that's the case. Like it's really not worth the squeeze. And bro, there's people literally right now that get a trade, right? for you know it cost them it doesn't cost them nearly as much at all to get a trade right and they finish their trade in two years right they finish developing their skill set 
and right away they're making $100,000 a year, right? So they didn't have to go into debt, right? And they're making three times as much as the person who went into debt and had to go the uh, twice the amount of time, had to attend the school or the certification for twice the amount of time that the person who got the trade did. It's a losing situation across the board, right? And I, I just really, I'm so like, I am so surprised that something as big of a scam as the university system is, is so widely accepted amongst people. And it's like, bro, like, I think, I, I mean, this is my opinion, so I'm not gonna say it's for sure, but I think a lot of people just, uh, you know, uh, promote college or your parents like promote you to go to college because it's just like, they don't wanna, they don't wanna feel like left out. Like when, think about it, when your parents go meet with their friends or their, uh, their coworkers, like, they want to be able to say like, hey, my son goes to school and he's studying this, right? Because if you're a parent, right, and you're, uh, you know, having a conversation with one of your friends or one of your coworkers and you say, oh, my son is, he's, he's just working at Walmart, right? Or he's just staying at home with us and he's not uh, doing anything, right? Or he wants to start own, his own business or he wants to be an influencer. They're going to look at your, they're going to look at your mom or your dad like, yo, what? That's not, that's not the way to success or um you know financial abundance or a good life or a good job and you know but when you really think about it like wait a minute just because society accepts that doesn't mean it's the actual way to go doesn't mean it's actually a good way to go about living a successful financially abundant life right like there's other ways there's a million other ways and it's like i just hate that 90 percent of people feel like that is the right way to go it just doesn't make sense right and i think a lot of young kids right like they don't know better and they're they're afraid like most kids are just like afraid to like go their own way like they don't want to feel left out and another thing too it's like college has a seductive uh pull to it because think about it right when you go to college it's like hey like you know there's going to be girls like you know dorm parties fraternities clubs right things of that nature where it's like yo like you know, guys who want to go, it's like, yo, I, I can get laid probably easily, right? So it's like, you're, they're not thinking about the the um, the financial consequences. They're just thinking about the consequences of them not going, which is, hey, like, I'm going to miss out on girls. I'm going to miss out on parties, right? So again, a lot of brainwashing and a lot of like, just group think, follow along uh, happens, you know, in society nowadays as it pertains to university. And I think that um, it's setting people up it's setting people up for failure and it's pushing people's success farther away. And it's making the, think about it, right? That example I used earlier about the person paying back their student loans, that person who finally pays them off at 28, there's people out there that are retiring at 28. There's dudes out there that are retiring at 28, doing trading, doing crypto, doing real estate, you know, uh, creating like content online, creating businesses, right? Like things like that. And it's like, why am I going to sit there and succumb to that just because my parents want me to, right? It's a, that would be the biggest waste of time in my eyes and my, and I would hate for my twenties to be squandered like that. Like whenever I thought about like doing like physical therapy or whenever I thought of, about doing like psychology or like, cause I'm into like neuroscience and like dopamine and like the brain and things like that. Right. But then I was like, wait a minute, why do I have to go to a seven year uh, why do I have to attend school for seven years to be like considered like uh, a professional in neuroscience or psychology, right? Like I could read like 10 books and be fine. I could read 10 books on neuroscience and psychology and be better off and know more about neuroscience and the brain than someone who's went to school for seven years, right? Like it's really about like the time, bro. It takes up so much. University takes up so much time right and it wastes a lot of time like people can graduate earlier too why do we have to go for seven years why do we have to go for four years why can't we just go for two years right so this is my point and um i just don't want you guys to get trapped by it and i want you guys to be you know be going down the right path so yeah guys that's it that's all i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you guys have any questions comments leave them down below and as always i'll talk to you guys soon peace